Hey, what's up guys? Stephen Cult of Mac here, and it's only been a little over two weeks since Apple released the first developer beta for iOS 11, and today they've released developer beta 2. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of what's new. Let's get started. First up in the Messages app, there's been a slight tweak to the new echo effect. Where it used to be blue when animating, that's now been changed to orange, which is a little bit more eye-catching than before. If we swipe up on the control center, we can now see that on the media player, when you're not playing anything that is, it shows the source name, so here it says iPhone, along with the type of media it's been playing last. Other changes include the new Do Not Disturb While Driving feature being enabled through the Settings app. So if we go to Settings, Do Not Disturb, and then scroll down, uh, we can see a new menu for that feature, and if we tap in, there's the option for it to be set automatically when it senses that you may be driving, uh, when it's connected to a car's Bluetooth, or manually through the control center, which I'll come back to in a second. Uh, if we go back a page, there's also options for auto replies to iMessages, where you can choose who gets an auto reply, whether it's all of your contacts, or just a select few, or well, no one. And you can customize the reply to whatever you want. If we go back to settings and into control center this time, we can now see that there's a new extra customized controls button to edit which buttons are available in control center. Previously, the full list was right here, but if we tap on that, you can now see that there's a new do not disturb while driving control we can add in order to set that feature manually. The final change, which is also within settings under Safari and advanced, there's a new experimental features tab, which is a list of different features for developers to enable. I'm personally not a developer, but if you are, please leave a comment down below to let me know what any of these do. Other than that, the whole OS is a lot slicker and there's less bugs. Most things are now working. Uh, for example, I used to have issues with a few apps uh, like Slack crashing when I tried to copy and paste, that's fixed. Uh, Instagram stories, I couldn't post them, that's now fixed. I know some people were having issues with the calendar app crashing and that seems fine now. Although the 3D Touch app switcher is still not working, hopefully we'll see that in the next beta. Well, that's it for this video. No particularly exciting changes between beta 1 and beta 2, but the speed and stability has come on leaps and bounds between those two versions. Hopefully the battery life will be improved as I've seen mine suffer a fair amount, but I'll have to try it out for a few days to see any changes that have been made there. If you've personally got iOS 11 beta 2 and found any changes that I've not mentioned, let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and hit subscribe to stay up to date with all of the latest betas and much more from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.